the wisest among us, is a fool in some things. The most innocent heart, is generally the most credulous. The unhappy never want enemies. The first step in achieving prosperity and wealth, is learning to appreciate what you already have. There are men who think themselves too wise to be religious. Those we dislike, can do nothing to please us. People hardly ever do anything in anger, of which they do not repent. Good men, must be affectionate men. It is better to be thought perverse, than insincere. The woman who thinks meanly of herself, is any man's purchase. Women love to be called cruel, even when they are kindest. Beauty, is an accidental and transient good. Men generally are afraid of a wife, who has more understanding than themselves. Those who doubt themselves, most generally earliest. The uselessness and expensiveness of modern women, multiply bachelors. The wife of a self-admirer, must expect a very cold and negligent husband. Women, do not often fall in love with philosophers. Men will bear many things from a kept mistress, which they would not bear from a wife. What we want to tell, we wish our friend to have curiosity to hear. We can all be good, when we have no temptation or provocation to the contrary. It is much easier to find fault with others, than to be faultless ourselves. Nothing can be more wounding to a spirit not ungenerous, than a generous forgiveness. A beautiful woman must expect to be more accountable for her steps, than one less attractive. The companion of an evening, and the companion for life, require very different qualifications. A man who flatters a woman, hopes either to find her a fool, or to make her one. Parents cannot expect advice to have the same force upon their children, as experience has upon themselves. Women are so much in love with compliments, that rather than want them, they will compliment one another, yet mean no more by it than the man do.
Many a man has been ashamed of his wicked attempts, when he has been repulsed, that would never have been ashamed of them, had he succeeded. All our pursuits, from childhood to manhood, are only trifles of different sorts and sizes, proportioned to our years and views. It is a happy art to know when one has said enough. I would leave my hearers wishing me to say more, rather than give them cause to show, by their inattention, that I had said too much.